right, so today I'm gonna to show you how I masked out the hair for this caricature portrait of Happy Franklin, who is obviously a Patriots fan. Now I have to admit, I am not a Patriots fan, but that didn't really hinder or alter the quality of work I do. Uh, and, but you know, being from Dallas, Texas, I'm supposed to be a Dallas fan, Dallas Cowboys fan, but I'm not. They're actually the least favorite uh, football team that I have, all right? So anybody that's playing Dallas, I root for them. Just above Dallas are the Patriots, all right? So anyway, let's get into this uh, tutorial on how I mask out this hair uh, on the caricature portrait. So this is where I started at uh, with Happy, and then we take this off, and we can see a big change from what we started with to where we are. So uh, and then we go through the split toning, just click off the shaping, some of the high pass filter and then we get to the hair now when I take off the hair we can begin to see a lot of ghosting happening with the hair and so I wanted to fix that obviously if I were to produce this and give it to her she'd probably be really happy with it but I'm not happy with it and if I'm not happy with it I'm not gonna put it out all right so then when we go look at the cutout I clearly did the pin tool I did the cutout and did the refined edge and all that kind of stuff but I was still left with a uh, ghosting in the hair there so what I did to fix it here's the first small step that I did to fix it is on the background I added a backlight effect all right so you can see when I click off of that how much ghosting is happening there with the hair so just by adding that you can hide a lot of that all right so that's number one number two is I add the hair effect that I did and then you can see it gets rid of most of that ghosting or at least knocks it out to a point where you can't really tell it's there. So I'm gonna show you how I did that. So we go into our original here and then I'm gonna take my lasso tool with a one pixel feathering and we're just gonna lasso this around here. Now you don't have to be really, uh, you know, um, specific on what you mask, but then we're gonna take that mask or that copy and we're gonna paste it and then we get rid of that or not. And then this is what we're left with. All right. So we have our hair. Now we could do this with the entire thing, but I like kind of doing it half and half just to make sure that I have everything set the way I like it. So anyway, so we go up here and we're going to add a blend mode of overlay and you can see how that knocks that down. And then I'm going to come down here and add a <clears throat> brightness and contrast layer and then attach it to that. All right. Then we're going to come here and I'm going to do the other side real quick. So on the other side, I take the lasso tool. Once again, copy and paste. And then we're going to bring that up here to the top. Let's forget to put that out or turn that off there. Come on now. And then we're going to add another brightness and contrast layer and we're gonna attach that. So this is really what we're left with. And don't forget to make this an overlay mode there. All right, so that's really what we're left with there. So we're, let's start with the left side and turn off the right side for now. So the left side, just real quick, add a layer mask onto that because you are gonna use that. And then we're gonna come down here and we're going to start tweaking that a little bit now usually i photograph everything on a clear uh or a plain background so this this isn't really an issue back here and i'm going to show you why it's not really an issue with her here in just a second but you're going to tweak it to where this tone matches your background tone pretty good and that's not too bad right there then you can bump up the contrast just to really kind of give the hair some more um, clarity and then we're going to go in here and we're going to Go to our layer mask, grab your brush tool, add 100% opacity, 100% flow, and then hardness is going to be down 20% or lower. And you're just going to start painting out the part that we don't want. Obviously, we don't want this back wall showing up. And we don't want all that stuff showing up in the background. Now, as you can see, I have photographed her against paper here that has writing on it. And that could be a real pain in the ass if we're uh, dealing with someone other than happy because she's got so much hair here 
And when we knock this out here, you're not even going to be able to tell that it's there. All right. So we're just going to come in here, get rid of all that. Just take it right to the edge of the hair there. Just leave the parts that uh, we're trying to knock that out. So that's pretty good right there. Not too bad. Right there. All right, so let's look at the before. So that's before and that's after. And you can see a big difference there. That looks really good there. Now you could go in here and even knock that down to 34 on opacity and kind of give it a once over there. And that would still bring the tone of it down to the other hair a little bit more um, and still look really good. So let's go to the other side and fix our brightness and opacity. And contrast up a little bit. I'm not really too concerned about that. Add a layer mask. Then we're going to go in here and do the same exact thing with the other side. When we were photographing Happy, she she works at a financial institution and uh, the space is really limited. All right, so had to go in and really we we did it in the little. Uh, like break room they have and they have this whiteboard on the back and all this writing and everything and uh, had to you know work around that obviously so before after before after so this is a really good way easy way to uh, fix the hair and make it look a lot more realistic than it did when you started, all right? And get rid of that ghosting effect that happens around the edges and that type of thing. So there's two, actually two techniques that I showed you. Throw that spotlight in the back, that'll fix a lot of it. And then to clean up the rest of it up here, this is, use the hair technique that I just showed you. And that's a really good way to make it look and get, you know, all these little stray hairs here, the, the background coming through the hair. It's a good way to get that background through the hair, but also, to knock out any of the ghosting, that type of thing. All right, so go try that on your own portraits, on your caricature portraits, headshot portraits, whatever you're doing. Let me know how it works for you. If you come up with something better, let me know that as well. And also don't root for the Patriots. Just kidding, if you're a Patriots fan, go root for them. Even though they're scandalous, they're in the news all the time about Deflate Gate, and I just saw something else now that they uh, are, the FBI is investigating anyway. Uh, that has no bearing on what we do here on our portraits. Just go out, kick some butt. We'll see you next time on the next video.